Hey, everybody, this is Jimmy, and welcome to another episode, another segment of the Meet the Cambridge Candidates for Cambridge City Council and Cambridge School Committee in 2023. My next guest is a first-time candidate running for Cambridge City Council. Please welcome to the show the one and only Mr. Peter Shu. Hello, Peter. How are you today? I'm doing well. Hello, everyone. Thanks for having me. Of course, Peter. So, Peter, tell us a little bit about your background. How long have you lived in Cambridge, and uh, why are you running for Cambridge City Council? Well, my name is uh, my name is Peter Shu, and uh, I am a uh, I am a physician by training, and I currently do practice medicine. I um, which which really prompts the question: Why politics for a lot of folks? Um, mm -hmm. And and obviously, I don't have a lot of time, and I'll try to be concise, but. Uh, really briefly, my clinical focus is in internal medicine and pediatric hematology oncology, uh, which are all very big words. I get it, whatever. Um, but my clinical, my research focus is actually in health policy. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically, specifically, I look at um, how Obamacare affects uh, cancer patients. And in my opinion, Obamacare is is one of the best public policies that's being pushed forward in our generation. Mm -hmm. um, it definitely needs some modifications and tweaks, but I do think this is a very, very, very good first step. Uh, back to why I'm coming into politics. Well, rather than um, uh, doing health policy at a research or academic level, uh, I did some soul searching over the past few months to about a year or so. Uh, and eventually wanted to influence um, health policy at a different level, or I should say a different platform. So mm -hmm. I thought about politics. And uh, a person like me uh, with no background in politics uh, and a first-generation immigrant to this great country um, at the age of 12 when I spoke no English, I talked to a few people, and we thought that starting at the local level was probably the best option for me. So here I am. Uh, just like everyone else, trying my best to beg for your number one vote on 11-7-2023. Great. Well, that's really admirable. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for making the effort to go from medicine to uh, from medicine on a in the in the private sector, so to speak, to an actual municipality where you might be able to have more influence. So, what? medical issues would you be focusing on in the city? Like what does the city of Cambridge need um, a uh, an accomplished um, a doctor for? How can you be helpful in that respect? I think if elected, I would like to, uh, I would, I would like to expand mental health outreach and high quality, um, high quality healthcare to more people, especially kids, teens, youth, adolescents, young adults, and uh, older folks, and folks, uh, especially from the lower socioeconomic class. Uh, you know, I, I do think that as a city, uh, during the COVID time, I think Cambridge actually did pretty well. Um, and I, and I, and I respect and I, and I give credits to our, our current city council for that tough period of time. But I do think that we can do more um, in terms of mental health care outreach and also uh, helping those uh, more vulnerable population to get more high quality uh, healthcare access. Mm -hmm. Do you think there is a racial component to the disparities in uh, in in healthcare and how it's uh, provided to people in, in, well, let's just say our city or our state or in our country in general? Do you think that's a, a big deciding factor of how long people are actually living and the quality of life that they're enjoying? I do think that there is a racial disparity. In fact, I know there is, uh, you know, based on research, I, I definitely know that there is a racial disparity. Um, that gap uh, is, 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 is closing up. Um, thanks to, uh, thanks to the affordable care acts, to be very honest. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it, we're not, we're not at, at net zero yet, but we are definitely getting closer. So I do think that there is a racial disparity um, in terms of healthcare access. And, and I think- money, money too, as well. That's what I meant, at racial and economic. I, I, I agree, I agree. I think, you know, um, you know, obviously we have Medicaid, which is for, for, the, for, the, for the poors, um, for lack of a better term, 
Uh, but you know, there are people who are not quite meeting Medicaid uh, criteria, but maybe also not getting employer sponsored uh, insurance programs that can benefit and will benefit and have benefited actually from marketplace plans that is done by the Obamacare. So I, I, I think, you know, but more people need to find out more and people need to know how. And I, and I think, yes, racial and economic uh, 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 influences do play in this, in this particular disparity. Okay. So let's say, what do you think the city's doing? Well, we already talked about medical. We already talked about the, the pandemic and how they, stepped up to the plate in a, in a big way during that. What else do you think the city's doing well and what else do you think they need help with? I do think that the city is doing well in terms of, uh, in the two, um, I think as I'm running campaigns and, and door knock and, and all these kind of stuff, I, I, I the two most debated topics uh, or policies, I should say, are affordable housing and bike lanes mm -hmm. uh, in general. I think the city is doing a good job in general. I, I know there are some folks out there who, uh, who, who, who think otherwise, which is fine. This is democracy. And, and I work with all sides uh, and, I, and I listen to everyone before I derive at a conclusion that I believe is the best for our dear city. Um, but I do think that in general, the city is trying, um, uh, whether people agree with the, the 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 means and measures, I think that's a different debate. But I think the city is doing a, a an overall good job in terms of trying to have more affordable housing for folks. Um, there's the AHO two, which is also highly debated. But I think it's a it's a it's it's a step. Uh, we all know we have a housing crisis, right. and we have to do something about it. In terms of bike lanes, I you know. I, I've lived in different parts of this country, and and not every city has has uh, such a sophisticated bike lane system like Cambridge or Boston. Uh, and I and I think we're doing a great job. Although I I personally bike more than five miles every day mm -hmm. uh, from where I live in East Cambridge to to Boston, mm -hmm. um, the hospital. Uh, there are definitely areas where there are no bike lanes and can be unsafe. And so we do think, I do think that we need more and extensive uh, 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 execution of right. bike lanes. Um, although that, that also needs to have some kind of balance in terms of local businesses, parking spaces, and in, in terms of uh, infrastructure planning. Okay. What, if any, organizations have endorsed you? Uh, none so far. Okay. Well, that's going to change after this interview. Oh, right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Okay. And you seem like the type of person that's pretty collaborative. Would you, um, are you open to community input on the issues, as you mentioned, of housing and uh, bike lanes and transportation and all of these issues? Uh, the public health issues right in Central Square with the underserved, uh, the unhoused population in terms of public health, in terms of overdoses and addiction and the unhoused community. Are you open to, you know, public import around those issues? I definitely am. Uh, so I just want to, I don't want to preach or anything like that, but right. I am a physician. I take care of patients. Right. There are patients that, that, you know, we don't, we, we, you know, we, we won't like everyone or we won't agree with everyone that we work with. But if a right. patient comes to me, regardless of my feelings toward anything else on earth, yeah. I work with the patient and I will do my best to take care of the patient. I think that same principle and philosophy I will apply uh, if elected. I will work with everyone. That doesn't mean I'm going to make everyone happy. I, I, yeah. I can't promise that and I won't because that's, right. that's, I think that's irresponsible. But I will listen to, actively listen to everyone. I will get everyone's input. I think community input is super crucial. After all, this is... This is democracy in, in its very fundamental concept. Mm -hmm. uh, I will work with everyone. I will listen to everyone and I will collaborate with everyone. And I will look at all data. And, and at the end of the day, I want to form an unbiased in, in a decision that is, in my opinion, uh, the best for our city. Okay. And Peter, you mentioned initially that you were an immigrant. Where was your home country? I was born and raised in Taiwan until the age of 12. Okay, Taiwan. Okay, great. Which, Alrighty. yeah. Which I, I don't want to get political, but <laughs> so, but but some people would say that's not a country. But but whatever, whatever you think. <laughs> I was born and raised in Taiwan. Well, put it this way: it's definitely not a state in the United States. <laughs> I I would agree. Yes. 
All right, great. So, Peter, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for stepping up and decided to run for uh, city council and for putting your medical background uh, in the in the mix of uh, the people's choices, what they, who they have for Cambridge City Council. Could you just give us a closing statement, please? Ask people for their votes and please let let the people know where they can find out more about you, where they can get a yard sign or a volunteer or make a donation, all of that sort of stuff. Absolutely. Uh, number one, uh, thanks for having me, Jimmy. And, and thanks for, for uh, everyone for listening through. Uh, I believe I deserve your number one vote because I work with everyone, even if we disagree on things, like we said before, just like I take care of everyone, um, every patient, the way I would want my family to be taken care of, uh, regardless of my feelings toward anything else on earth. Mm -hmm. Also, I believe I deserve your number one vote because it would be really cool to have a physician on our city council, which hasn't happened for a very long time, if ever. That that I have to do some research, but hasn't happened for a very long time. Uh, and, and in general, us physicians, we're compassionate, we're competent, and we're unbiased. So I think it would be really cool. Um, and lastly, um, I, I think I think I deserve your number one vote because I don't just work hard. I'm a fun guy. So <laughs> together, I promise together we can have a lot of fun and we can achieve more for our dear city of Cambridge. Uh, you can find more information about me on www.voteforpetershoe.com and where you can donate one dollar or two dollars. Anything helps. Uh, or you can just look at my info and 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 choose that number one guy wisely. Okay, and Peter Shu is spelled P E T E R H S U. PeterShu.com is that correct? That is correct. PeterShu.com. He's the first doctor to uh, run for uh, Cambridge City Council in a while. And Peter, if elected, you could be like the Surgeon General of uh, Cambridge City Council. I will make him <laughs> proud. All righty. Thank you so much for joining us. Good luck. It was uh, and congratulations on running. And we'll see you on the campaign trail. And we'll see you on the Cambridge political circuit. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Thank you for having me.